Gospel according to St. Mark 12 verses 18 to 27. Some Sadducees who say there is no resurrection came to Jesus and put this question to him, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, if someone's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now, there were seven brothers. The first one the first married a woman and died, leaving no descendant. So the second married her and died, leaving no descendants. And the third likewise. And the seven left no descendant. The seventh one is the middle candle of the menorah called Shamas, the primary source of light, in which everyone is solitary but bound by his word, enjoying storge ultra divine love, in which although they are solitary, but of a one accord. Mary Magdalene enjoyed that love after she was set free of the moral laws the seven candles of the menorah are no rituals as she became Christ too. The brethren of Christ, the Thomas, were known as Christ because they were capable of teaching the gospel from their own hearts and not from any book which finished with John the Baptist, Luke 16, verse 16. Law and prophets were till John. Last of all, if the woman also died, or her ego was burned to ashes, and she became the Son of God, the Christ. And the resurrection when they arise, whose wife will she be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, Are you not misled? Because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God. When they rise from the dead in ego, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but they are in, but they are enjoying the store the divine love of our Father Elohim, Allah, Abraham, etc., in which there is neither taking or giving, as the sons of God are super glued to His word. This is corruption, like the angels in heaven. As for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the passage about the bush, how God told him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not God of the dead, but of the living in living in ego free. You are greatly misled.
our Father God blesses everyone in agape, unconditional divine love. Amen.